Are you an existing or aspiring escape room owner? Because in this video, I'm going to show you 15 elements of a high converting escape room website. A website is where you make the first impression. You know, because the website is not congruent with the business, you end up missing out on a lot of opportunities that you would otherwise get if you created the first impression, right? I'm Piyush from SEO Hub and we help hardworking escape room business owners just like yourself add an extra 100k to a million dollars in revenue through platforms like Google Ads and Facebook Ads to their business. Let me dive straight into the first point and that is navigation, right? Site navigation is extremely crucial and it forms the entire backend and or the skeleton of the website, right? So give a lot of emphasis on how you're structuring your pages and how your site navigation is created because that's going to define the user experience on your website. Take for example, a look at this website that we've developed. So for example, if, you, if you're an escape room business, then you might be having on-site games, you might be having portable games, you might be having team building options, you might be having other types of activities and games as well. You know, some people also have axe throwing and other uh, events at their venue, does not really matter. But the idea of getting the site navigation correct would be to make sure that you're organizing it by categories. So for example, escape rooms, you have a first category called escape rooms, which shows all the different escape rooms that you have. Then you have a category for events, all the different events that you're hosting at your business. A lot of people don't really know that, you know, they can do team building uh, at an escape room or they can host a birthday party. A team building event or a corporate booking or a birthday party would do a lot better than just an ordinary escape room booking. So you should all, by all means be highlighting the events. Then having a pricing section that clearly shows the different pricing because a lot of people are, you know, just trying to understand and plan ahead. So they want to know what the pricing is. Uh, you can optionally have it or you know, depending on how you want to go about it. If you have a complex pricing strategy based on uh, the number of people that are booking, then it by all means have a pricing page that clearly spells it out because it makes it easier for people to make a decision. You know, escape rooms can also be used as a gift card option and be given to people as a gift, right? For holiday seasons, quite a lot of escape rooms actually rely on, you know, gift cards, right? And then, you know, maybe the about us section where the contact page or the FAQs, all the things are listed, right? So this is one thing that re that's really important for an escape room to have a clear website navigation that tells people about all the different options or ways a person can interact with your business. Having a very clear, uh, crystal clear hero screen that spells out what your business is about, where you're located, and what's your main USP? So, for example, if you're uh, if you're looking at the Lost Games website itself, you can clearly say escape rooms in Las Vegas. It clearly spells out that this is an escape room in Las Vegas. If a person is going to be clicking on an ad and coming to your website, they should immediately know what your business is about. And if they're not able to understand in the first few seconds that they're actually on the right website, then there's a disconnect which will lead to a you know a decrease in the conversions that you might experience on your website otherwise. So by all means, make sure that your USP and your location and the main category of your business is highlighted on the hero screen clearly the only escape rooms in michigan where your personal game host plays an entertaining costume character based on your theme break out of reality and break into fun so they are clearly spelling out what their usps are right on top of the screen for people to know why they should you know choose this business over the, any other business and you know it's uh, the screen automatically already as you can see is pretty engaging it has a group of people who seem to be having a lot of fun there's laughter and excitement uh, in the images these are certain things that are extremely crucial, that entire visual appeal to be there for a website to be convincing. Because see, as we all are aware, like, you know, escape rooms still are in a very nascent stage where a lot of people don't really know about them and a lot of people are still coming into the industry. Job of your website should be to educate people and let them know what this industry is about. It's about excitement, it's about fun, it's about group activities, right? It's about inclusion, solving puzzles, having fun. So you want to make sure that it's reflecting. Your website is reflective of the nature of your business. Abstract objects on the hero screen, which does not really tell people what the business is about. And I think that's a clear disconnect. A person coming into the website might not be 100% aware of what an escape room is and it's our job as website developers and as business owners to be able to clearly tell them what the business is about in the first few seconds and that the hero screen should be able to do right another thing if you notice is the clear call to actions on the hero screen itself you know 
if a person is directly coming with an intent to make a booking because they are in a hurry they, they can clearly see there's a book now button here and as you can see there's a subtle kind of a gradient effect that's in motion here which kind of keeps letting people get attracted to that button it's driving that attention but only enough to not become a distraction so the book now button is sitting on the top right corner conveniently for people to find it in case they're in a hurry to make a booking in case somebody just wants to explore the business then they can click on view our games and we are also trying to build a little bit of like uh, authority by adding like a trust symbol like you know five star rated on google or you know if you won multiple awards then you can display that like for example if you go back to lost games you can see that they've won quite a lot of awards in the last few years and we kind of have a, like a small placard kind of a section that's displaying all the different awards that they have kind of accumulated that is making them a better choice versus all the other businesses in town so you're stacking authority at this stage giving clarity and stacking authority is super important now if you come down on this uh, website you can clearly see that you know there's a featured in section which also is kind of stacking authority it's telling people that where are the different you know you've been featured on like you know the haunt world metro times whatever like you know whatever if you've got any press mentions or you know journalist mentions or any sort of you know blogs that have reviewed you and talked about your business then you should definitely use those industry mentions and show them that you've been featured in these spaces because it, it creates a gap between you and all the other businesses and it shows that your business is being talked about. These are certain things that we should all, you know, we should be keeping in mind when you're trying to design a high converting escape room website. I'll show you another website that's kind of in development right now. This for Lost Reality, it's an escape room in Perth. See, it's basically a framework. At the end of the day, what we are, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. The wheel was already made and we know that you know, if, if you need to make a vehicle, you need to take a wheel and put it on the vehicle, right? It's as simple as that. A vehicle needs four wheels to go from one place to the other. That's what we already know and we don't need to reinvent it. So there's no reason for us to constantly ask the question, what should be there on the website? We already have figured it out multiple times with different experiments. And what we are doing is we are making sure that we are carrying out these experiments authentically by creating immersive experiences on the website as well for people to kind of, you know, consume. So if you are looking at any of the websites that we've built, you know, whether it's Lost Games, whether it's Room Breakout, uh, you know, whether it's Lost Reality, you can see there's a clear format that that's in play that we are using to constantly keep you know we're not trying to uh, do it we're not trying to figure it out again because we figured it out and these buttons are again you know grabbing that attention they have this subtle animation that's going in if you come down you can clearly see you know uh, if you come down you start getting into the game section there might be a little bit of variations based on how you want to place it like for example in this website what you can also do is you can immediately start off with giving people the right information that they might need in order to push them forward towards the conversion goal right a lot of people coming into the website might already be wanting to make a booking mm -hmm. but a lot of people will drop off from the website because of missing information or confusions or things that they don't have clarity on so what you really want to do is you want to make sure that you're giving them information about your pricing. If you've got like a flat pricing, like these people, you can just spell it out that it's $34 per person. The opening hours are Monday to Sunday, whatever days of the week you want to roll. What is an escape room? You know, you're talking about what can I expect when I book an escape room or can I make a reservation by phone? Or do you offer discounts? You're trying to highlight some of the most frequently asked questions, your sales reps, and you're trying to answer those questions immediately out of the gate so that people don't call you up for redundant questions, right? And it also removes the friction from the sales process if you answer it up front. So you're giving those questions and you're moving in to the actual game section, right? Now, what you're going to be seeing right now is a proprietary game section that we've developed at SEO. This is the entire format based on research and testing. And we've tested with thousands of dollars in actual money to be able to uh, you come to these conclusions. So, so this is the game section that you know we kind of designed because the way we wanted to express about the games was to make it compact enough to not be overwhelming for people to kind of you know go through and also be attractive for people to kind of see and get all the information they need to make an informed decision about whether or not they want to play that game. So the way it works is we kind of give like a small tag that clearly spells out the USP of the game like this game is really good for huge groups this game is really good for puzzle lovers and then if you really want to watch the video trailer of the game then you can click on this 
and you can actually watch the video trailer of the game itself. Below the watch video button, what we do is we add these Netflix style tags, right? Uh, you might have seen these tags appear on the top of movies on Netflix. They give you a few objectives to kind of describe what the game is about. Like we wanted to kind of do the same thing because a lot of people don't really want to read a lot of content. They want to understand what the game is about, right? We use, uh, you know, like tags like, you know, zombie theme, apocalypse, survival, large groups, 75 minute games, family friendly, multi-linear, post-game wrap up, uh, you know, group photos. How many solves are there? Like there are 30 solves in this game, like 30 puzzles that they need to solve in this game. So a lot of people will get a kick out of knowing that, you know, this game is packed with 30 puzzles to solve. And that might be a unique selling proposition for a lot of people to kind of go and book this game, right? Uh, very commonly available information on most websites about the game timings, the number of players that can play and the difficulty level. So when it's, when it's a 10, it means it's like super high difficulty. As you can see, 30 solves in 75 minutes is not going to be easy. It's definitely a large group game. So smaller groups might not really want to go for this game because they'll be aware of the challenges that might, you know, uh, be present if they book this game. It really wraps up the entire game section in a nutshell and gives a person the ability to actually want, if they really want to explore it, they can click on learn more by doing which they can will actually be taken to an actual you know standalone page for zombie roadhouse where we have this you know nice character animation that you know grabs a little bit of the eyeballs and you know increases the time on site a little bit we've seen uh, we've seen the website with and without this definitely the average time on website goes up with these small character animations and when you come down you can clearly see that there's a little bit more about the actual game more footage from the actual game, the photos and stuff are there from the games and the booking widget exclusive to the game itself is kind of present here. In this particular case, the actual booking widget for all the games is there, but you could explicitly have it just for the game itself, you know, based on how you want to really put it. If you, let's say, come to this. Uh, so now if you take, if you're taking a look at, let's say, Lost Games, you can see that the format is similar. They don't really have, uh, you know, trailers, so we're not, we're not given trailers, but you can see the name of the game, the tags are there, difficulty, time, and the, you know, number of players that can play the game. A little bit of the description, book now and a learn more widget. So when you click on the learn more widget, you're taking to a standalone, you know, a booking page where you can see a little bit of the different kind of, you know, photos that are there, the trailer of the game, if you want, the booking widget as well, and in-depth storyline which kind of clearly gives people a you know option to really explore the game right that should be done to be honest so now moving back to the home page similarly the game section you know on the lost reality uh, website is also similar with the watch video game tags duration the escape rate uh, the, uh, the escape room owner really wanted to have an escape rate kind of a bar so we've added that but the book now button and learn more buttons are consistent for to, for people who really want to make a booking, they can go to the book now button and make a booking. And if somebody wants to really explore and learn more about the game, then they want to click on learn more and they want to do that, right? And they have a, le a leaderboard section that really works well for them. So we've highlighted the leaderboard instead of having, you know, separate uh, objectives to describe the game oh, on the top. And uh, you can go to the game individual game leaderboard uh, right from here. So uh, coming down, we can see uh, once somebody has actually gone through the game section and they are like still exploring. What does this tell, tell you about the person? It tells you that this person is in research mode and they are really trying to really understand and they are really trying to understand what else the website really has to offer. What else the business really has to offer, right? This is the time where you go in and you start stacking on more credibility and authority by showing reviews, right? What are other people telling about your business so you pull in reviews from google you know you can click on read more you can you read you know did a christmas team escape room and it was tons of fun great puzzles and uh, you know and the clerk angel was awesome right so you can clearly see it establishes so much credibility it overcomes objections that buyers might have on the spot and it's actually trying to do the job of a salesman trying to make sure that the person who's landed on your website you know you might have paid for them to land on your website. You might have paid money to Google ads or Facebook ads, or you might have spent money on SEO to get your rankings up. Or, you know, they have, you've done some work and you've done some activities for this moment where the person actually come to your website. So this website has to do everything it can in its ability to make sure that it's able to convert that person into an actual booking for you, right? 
you don't want it to be a half hearted attempt right you just show a few things and you just let the person go you know be my guest take a look whether you like it or not and leave the website because once the person is gone it's gone right he's not going to come back so you want to make sure that you are maximizing your chances of converting that person stacking on more credibility is the way to go for sure right because we can see you know the business is five star rated on google it's on facebook it's highly rated on tripadvisor and yelp like it's everywhere and it's highly rated in all platforms so there's no way you can go wrong when you're selecting this business on top of that we're showing you some reviews of actual people what they're saying about the business and this stacks on more credibility for obvious reasons now if a person is still exploring beyond this point then it makes sense for us to educate them a little bit more about what are the different ways in which you can actually interact with an escape room business beyond just playing an escape right so it's in this section is what i call the profit maximizers you know because every now and then you'll get a team building booking or a birthday party booking and that booking is going to make up for that down days like in let's say you had really a bad uh, you know weekday where right? monday tuesday you didn't have any bookings but just getting one birthday party booking for a friday or a saturday or maybe you know you, you could have a birthday party booking on a weekday will make up for a down week right so these are profit maximizers and we like to ed- educate people and we like to educate people about the ways they can interact with our business so we show them about the option of team building or birthday parties or corporate events and date nights and these are some of the options that people can explore escape room venues as you know as a date they can come on a couple date and they can have a good time they can host a corporate event if they want to be honest like these this particular business has a lot of other events like as you can see bachelor parties and class trips and gender reveal graduation parties proposals special events sports team building fundraising they do a lot of events right so it depends from business to business whatever events you do if you don't do any other events and you're just relying on escape room bookings and you're making a mistake for sure you should be having add on events because events allow you to attract larger groups and larger groups lead to more repetitive bookings because let's say you get a birthday party booking for a kid and they invite like you know let's say 20 kids to play your game like what happens you you are able to actually expose your business to 20 families that might be eager to come back and play other games as well and all for the cost of having one birthday party and if you didn't really actually have a birthday party event then that wouldn't be happening right these kind of events are really a uh, massive profit maximizers for escape rooms and they're really helpful even during the down days because birthday parties and events are not seasonal right birthday party will happen whenever it needs to happen and as you're all aware that escape rooms do experience some seasonal ups and downs like in a certain months they're like not that good certain months that they're really you know peaking you know when the tourist season is up like it's really peaking especially may june july is like epic season for escape rooms then you know then the november december phase is like epic season for escape rooms so it depends on location to location right but not you don't have consistent sales all throughout the year there are some months that are always outdoing the others but when you introduce events like birthday parties and these kind of Uh, team building and other things and automatically you are able to kind of streamline and neutralize the negative impact of the low seasons right uh, with your events that's super important to know so now that they are aware of that you also tell people that if you're not if you're not aware of this but you can actually give this experience to a friend and you show the gift card section you tell them about the gift card section you know most businesses fail to educate people and that's a big mistake that they're making you should be telling people about all the ways they can interact with you so that they are aware you know in case i can't make it to your event but i would want to give this to an experience to a friend i'll make a booking but if you, if i didn't know that i or if i didn't really remember that i could actually make a gift card purchase for your business you know it just makes uh, it just makes it difficult for me to become a customer right so re- reduce the friction as much as possible and then below that you know you can have more sections like what are your unique selling propositions or that what what you can go into more details with what really makes your business stand out from all the other business, businesses in the market you know game design it could be high tech mech um, you know the mechanisms that you're using it could be the theme theatrics of your entire venue and how immersive and everything is so in the element that you forget about the real world that you actually uh, you know it's a game you know sometimes and finally you end up with like a faq section uh, at the bottom of the page where you answer some of the most frequently asked questions now this section serves two purposes one it serves the purpose of making sure that you have 
answered some of the most commonly asked questions right on the home page for people to kind of explore in case they have come down this far that means they're still kind of confused about your business they need more information the only reason a person is going to come down and keep scrolling and keep exploring your website is when they are really intrigued by your website they are interested but they need more information so you want to make sure that this is like your you're throwing your last uh, uh, hat into the ring right you're making the last effort to give all the information you think that a person would need and you kind of give them the commonly asked questions uh, here and beyond that you can have your terms and conditions your refund policy your rescheduling policy cancellation policy bookings in advance and stuff like that you know what if they have a bad experience how do you tackle that you know for example can i leave if, if i feel anxious or unwell like if you know you are making people get you giving people the confidence to know that they are in safe hands that their experience is going to be the best experience for their entire family if they make a booking with you and also this section works as a, a knowledge panel uh, feature for google because as you might be aware the google starting to really give a lot more information than just website links you know it shows videos it shows images it shows q question and answers it allows more information from your website to be populated on search engines so there are more entry points to your business which is good and finally we move on to the last section that is the footer section right where we have driving directions or you know how to reach directions to the business like you can give like by car by bus by flight you know if you're like an international des destination where tourists are coming from all across the world to play your games then you can have directions by flight flight click on these and directly get taken to the direction directions and you have the map section that clearly is embedded which is helpful for seo as well and allows people to clearly see where your business is and they able to kind of make okay fine you're next to abc blinds and awnings and they can just reach your business right finally in the footer section you have your opening hours your phone number your email your address name address phone number email all these are consistent because if you don't have consistency between the phone number address email id and your opening hours with your google details then it's going to create a lot of problems for you in terms of organic presence and it's definitely going to push your website down all right so keep in mind that your website should have consistent information with your google my business profile by all means and you have all your social media you know buttons in case you have like a newsletter then you can have a sign up now section where you can have the newsletter pop up right now this website is still under development so as you can see that will probably be embedded later with that said and done now let's head over to the top of the website again and kind of go through the entire structure and talk a little bit more about the url structure of the website right let's take a look at this business okay because it's uh, it has a pretty cool structure right you know this is a multi location business so they have their main top level domain being reserved for the entire uh, you know franchise but they're clearly saying that it's exclusively for escape rooms and they are giving all the different locations like they are available in Orlando Royal Oak Lansing Ann Arbor Warren so if you head over to any of these then these are all sub websites so for example if i'm clicking on Ann Arbor and i go to Ann Arbor you can clearly see that this loads pretty fast and immediately on this page same thing if you look at the escape room section and you click on the escape room section pay attention to the address bar okay when we click on all, you know all games or when we click on chamber of illusions what happens when you go to all games it's basically coming to roombreakout.com and arbor michigan escape rooms it's the clear url structure so any bot or any human doesn't that who's reading this url can clearly say what this page is about due to the way the page the url is set up right so if you go to chamber of illusions you can clearly see that it's an arbor mi escape room chamber of illusions like there's a clear hierarchy in the url structure this is very important this sort of following allows google to really get all the information just from the url itself about what the business or what this link will do when a person clicks on it right that's one thing to keep in mind same thing if you go to events then you can see that you know it's going to be an arbor michigan events right and then if you go to let's say uh, birthday parties then it's going to be an arbor michigan events slash birthday parties right if you go to fundraising it's going to be an arbor michigan events fundraising if you go to frequently asked questions it's going to directly be an arbor michigan faq right if you go to like the contact page it's going to be same right 
this clear hierarchy is extremely important when you're creating your ui structure and this is the first thing that you should be doing about your business before you actually make the entire website clearly chart out your ui structure and how the urls are going to be nested because that's going to define the user experience and that's also going to define the search engine experience like the search engines will crawl your website and if you make their life easy then they're going to reward you with better uh, uh, visibility right this icon is basically a gift card icon as you can see it clearly kind of you know, every small element has been thought about and put on the website because you want it to only get that attention that it deserves you don't want it to get too much undue attention so every single element is, is, is in its own place and when you see the gift card section it clearly says buy a gift card and you're taken to the gift card page and the gift card page technically is a subsection of your booking page it's not just Ann Arbor Michigan gift cards it's Ann Arbor Michigan booking slash gift cards if going to the book now page you have all the information about the gift cards and how to purchase the gift cards and if there's any frequently asked questions about the gift cards it's all mentioned here right now if you click on the booking page it takes you to the booking page and the booking widget is directly embedded into the page right one thing to a few things to note here is they're using Resova technically by all means Resova or Bookio are the best escape room booking solutions out there hands down there's no doubt about that okay we have escape room startups that are doing let's say a hundred thousand dollars a year in revenue that are using these solutions and we also have escape room franchises and businesses that are doing over two or three million dollars a year in revenue that are using these solutions so they work for all nature and sizes of businesses and there's no reason it might not work for you so take a look into Bookie or Resova if you've not made a booking uh, solution choice, right? One thing to again keep in mind in the booking page is to make sure your name, your, your uh, one thing to keep in mind in your booking page is to again ensure that your phone number and your email is clearly visible for anybody to ask you any last minute questions they might have before making a booking, right? They shouldn't have to scramble for key information at key times on the website that's the reason we want to give this information everywhere the second thing we also mention is please wait three to five seconds for the booking widget to load because you might notice that when you actually go to this website there's a little bit of a time delay before the widget actually loads right give a good user experience you're educating and telling people that they should wait a few seconds for the booking widget to load so that's something to keep in mind and i think that's that's these are the core uh, foundations of a good booking page for an escape room business right the last thing that i would want to talk about actually there are two more things that i want to talk about the individual games page which should not be ignored a lot of people don't really have individual game pages but i highly stress that people should have an option to really explore the in-depth uh, storyline of a game more images of the game and just be a little bit more about you know they should have a little bit more options to engage with a mission before they are able to book right a lot of people are you know storyline freaks and they just want to be more immersed into the storyline or really buy into the storyline before they make a booking the best way is the game booking page and individual game pages and each of these individual game pages have their own you know like subsections with in-depth storylines there's a button that goes to the all faq uh you know uh sections so if you cl if they click on it then they're taken to the all faq uh you know uh thing where they are able to see all the FAQs of the uh, business and they are also able to see the what do you call the booking widget for the game itself so they are able to make a booking from the page directly right so the last thing that I want to talk about is the blog right don't forget the importance of a blog for an escape room website because a blog really allows you to take all the load away from your home page and your game pages to do all the conversions and get all the bookings right because a home page and all the escape room pages in the end will just probably be getting will only be getting bookings for people that are looking for escape rooms or events right but at the end of the day there are a lot of lot more people that are active in your market and not everybody in your market is aware of what an escape room is so by all means the blog section allows you to create content and get in front of people to educate them and then have them come to their own conclusions about what an escape room is and whether they want to really take part in it or not and that allows you to create a lot more customers and i can tell you for a fact that if you're able to get in front of a person as the first company to introduce them to a concept they're going to be forever indebted towards you and they'll always choose you when the time comes for them to book so don't just go for the three percent of active people in your market who are looking for escape rooms also try to educate the other 97 percent of people in your market 
that is not maybe ready to book uh, right now or don't doesn't even know about your business or your industry and get in front of them and tell them what an escape room is and how cool it is and they should check it out right let's take a look at this uh, blog you know that we have for intermission sydney and we have topics like fun team building activities in sydney and ultimate birthday party venues for hire in sydney a uh, best locations for large group holidays in sydney 20 best things to do in sydney with teens seven best adventure based team building activities in sydney uh, team uh, you know for example six fantastic things to do this new year's eve in sydney so you can see that all these different topics are basically not about escape rooms we're not just talking and actively blogging about what escape rooms are and whether you should be playing escape rooms we're just genuinely giving helpful information to people local tourists and other people in sydney who might be our target customers you know people who want to spend time with their teens you know people who want to go on adventure based team building activities people who really want to you know looking to hire a birthday party venue for the kid these might all be our target audiences and if we create content and we able to get this content in front of those people when they're looking for it what's going to happen is you're going to end up coming in front of them months 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 ahead of time before they actually make a purchase decision that allows you to constantly have a pipeline full of people that are ready and eager to book your game and this is this is not going to be impacted by just the demand of the escape room industry the demand in the escape room industry can go up and down but if you're constantly educating your own people you know on what escape rooms are and you're constantly getting these people into your sphere of influence and creating new customers for your business this is completely a no competition zone for you it's the blue ocean that a lot of you know business consultants talk about you created your own blue ocean for yourself that's free of all competition and that you can completely monetize right that is again something that could easily be done if you actually have a escape room blog in place right don't just be limited to writing about escape rooms in your escape room blog make your blog a hub of information for local tourists and other people to get value from it you know don't be selfish don't always promote your business promote other businesses as well right so when you're talking about seven best birthday party venues to hire you're talking about all the other businesses that could be a potential hire as well so you are just genuinely giving information to people and then also saying that we are also a viable option and you can come check us out if you're interested we'd love to host your birthday party here right as simple as that so that my friends is the elements of a high converting escape room website now uh, i know this video has turned out to be pretty long but i hope this was helpful do let me know your thoughts and your questions in the comments below i'm always eager to chat about these things and if you need any help with designing an escape room website then you know where to find me you can email me at p@theseoop.com or you can reach out to us by filling the contact form on seoop.com i'll definitely want to make sure that if you're starting your new business in this industry i want to make sure that you get all the head start you can to ensure the success of your business i look forward to interacting with you guys and if you're still here and you've not closed the video like share and subscribe to my channel it's still growing and i'm i'm sure you might know people who might benefit from watching this video share the link with them thanks for watching bye